Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna cover up different methods of applying thermal paste on your CPU. If you guys keep asking me like I should put a one dot in the middle, if I should put a three line, five dot method, we're gonna cover that. I've seen another video that they do a different, um, the same things, but they don't actually tell you if they lock the fan or they didn't lock the fan speed. It's very important. So you should set the fan speed locked down so you get the exact uh, calculation based on the time and the room temperature. Otherwise, it's gonna be all over the place, so we don't know if it was fan, is spinning faster, helping out or no. In this video, I'm gonna cover up all the five different methods. So let's get it started. I'm gonna be using an Arctic MX4, and this applies pretty much on every CPU. So I'm just grabbing a random CPU here. It's an iCore 3, iCore 5. We're just gonna apply it. You can. Based on this one, you know which one actually is working better, is not exactly for this CPU, so you know the method, which method actually gives the better performance. So, as always, uh, I'm using an Arctic MX4, you can use an even better thermal paste if you want, but again, this is for methods. So let's get it started. Method number one, it's one point in the middle. So we're gonna apply one dot in the middle, one piece size, we're gonna put even pressure on top. Now that we have applied the thermal paste, we are going to run a stress test using Prime95. I will let this run for some time and see the results. Second method would be five point. Step number three, it's a three line. Number four will be a cross and X shape. The next method would be spreading. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video and if you did like this video and helped you guys out, you know what to do. Click that like and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.